So now we're going to add some power-ups or some collectibles. So if you go to your layout, um, we're going to make sure that we're on the UI layer here, and we're going to do kind of like what we've done with the text here. In fact, if you take and you copy your text from the, the side over here that says score, so you just right-click it and you clone it, um, you can have score 2, and you can just drag it right onto the the layout here. So we can have it show up right here. Now what happens if we run the game as it is right this second? We'll just take a look. You can see you've got the extra text. Oh, and we died. Alright, so this looks a little awkward. Let's change it up a little bit. So, instead of text, what I want to do here is I want to change this to um, whatever our new variable is going to be. So here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add another global variable. We want this to follow us all along the way. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add to our event sheet. Remember how we click and we say add a new global variable. And this one's going to be keys for my game. You're going to start out with zero. All right, so we're just going to hold down the control or command button and copy this over. And now on the right side, make sure you rename uh, whatever your text is going to be. I'm going to rename mine keys because that's what I'm storing here. So I'm going to go into this and I'm going to change it. I'm going to go back and um, make sure I select the right thing. This is going to be keys. We want to set text. We want this to say keys and then show our global variable for keys. I'm going to double click the background, I'm going to add a sprite. The new sprite I'm going to add is going to be my key. This is a file that I already have on here. I'm going to know, I know that I need some adjustments to it uh, because as you can see it is huge. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to resize it. Instead of 1024 by 1024, let's just do 64 by 64. That looks nice. Let's see what it looks like on the actual game. Okay, nice and big, and there's the key. So I'll just kind of put it over here off to the, the side. All right, so let's rename our sprite on the side to key, or whatever it is that, that you're using for a power-up, okay, so, or a collectible. I'm going to name this key. Now when I go to my event sheet, I'm going to add a new event. I'm going to say key. I'm going to say on collision with another object. What object? Well, the player. Now that we have the collision with the key and the player, I'm going to take this part right here. I'm just going to copy it, or I can take and hold shift down and drag it down to that. So we have add a thousand to score up here on the system. Well, we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to change this variable to keys. We're going to add one to the value. All right, now let's run the game and see if we've done that correctly. Let me go see if I can find that key that I put over here. All right, so you see we've got the key and we just added one to it. Got all these monsters still chasing me, about to kill me. Notice we still have the key there though. So what do we need to do on collision? We add one to key, but we also need to uh, take the key and we need to destroy it. We also need to add a, a sound for some sort of collection sound so that you know that you've collected it. But let's run this first and just double check. It's always good to double check. Okay, so we collected one key. Everything's showing up just fine so far. So now we want to do just like what we do with the monsters, where we have every three seconds create an object uh, monster, right? So we can take this entire event here, we can copy it, paste it, and say something like every 
you know, uh, 15 seconds. Create, not a monster, but we want to create a key and we want it to be somewhere um, random in our room. We want it to be within inside the bounds of our room though. So we've got 1708 by 960. So click done. Now let's run this and see what happens. See if we can find some keys. You guys had asked for a gameplay video, so here I guess you have one all in one. Oh, we've got another key, so there we go, we're up to two keys. Oh, I just got another one spawned. I think it probably. It probably would be good to add a, um, a sound for when the key spawns and a sound for when you collect the key. Um, so in our next video, um, for my game at least, uh, this power up, this key is going to unlock the door to the next level and that's how we're going to transition. Um, so in the next video we're going to talk about how to transition to a second layout um, after you've achieved some sort of goal of yours basically going on to the next level.